All of us know Michael Jackson as the king of pop, but he's also the undisputed king of charity. What kind of humanitarian was he? Well, he's listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most charitable pop star ever. One man who witnessed his generosity firsthand was Kenny Ortega. Ortega co-created and designed the Dangerous in History tours and was preparing the This Is It concert series when Jackson died. He'll admit that working with Michael was one of the highlights of his life, but it was what MJ did off the stage that had the most profound effect on him. Working with Michael was um, not like, you know, it was like a completely unique experience to anything else that you could possibly have in your life as a creative person. The first time Michael called me to work with him was before Dangerous, two decades ago. And it was the most unbelievable day in my life. And this guy was just, you know, the hero in every aspect of, 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 of what I loved and, and why I was doing what I did. One thing that, that really will live long and it will be everlasting with me, just in terms of my, you know, uh, what, what I learned from Michael was his reasons for doing things. And they were pure. You know, we were going out to do This Is It. And he never once ever, in the months that we worked together, talked about selling records. He talked about wanting to do this as it because he felt that he was still young enough to be able to do it and he wanted to share it with his children that were old enough to be able to appreciate what it was that he's loved all of his life. He wanted to do it for the fans. He wanted to give them back for staying there with him, for supporting him, for not quitting him. And, mo and, and most importantly, he said, you know, Kenny, I've I, I wrote these songs, you know, over a decade ago, Earth Song, We Are the World, Heal the World, and look at the planet, look at the peril that we're in, look at the human condition. You know, if we don't do something to help this planet in the next four to six years, we'll have done irreversible damage, and there will be no saving this place for future generations. And that's how he talked. Now let's go to work, let's dream up a show. Let's entertain people, but let's leave them with something important at the end of the day. I was doing the Olympics the second time Michael called me. I was like actually doing the Atlanta Olympic opening and closing ceremonies when Michael called and said, I need you now. And I was like, okay, you know, I was doing the biggest show on the planet, but I was still gonna figure out a darn way to work with Michael, you know, because, you know, when he called, you said yes. You know, I dealt with the consequences of having said yes after, but never wanted to pass up an opportunity because I knew it would be life-changing. I was with Michael in Eastern Europe and, and we got off of a plane and he said, do you want to go to the hotel? You want to come to the orphanage with me? And it was like, rather than going to the hotel, he went to the orphanage. And he walked into this orphanage and I remembered him looking and he was walking through it and he was very calm. The promoters were there and he was looking around and the conditions were pretty, pretty grim. And, uh, and I saw him whisper to someone and then whisper to someone else and he was, you know, moving through and interacting with the children. And then later I found out what he had whispered and it was, you know, I, 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 this, will, this orphanage will be turned turned around, there will be new beds in here, there will be clean sheets in here, there will be more people in here taking care of these children by tomorrow or I'm not going to go on stage. I saw this guy go into an orphanage in, in Romania and turn the conditions around in, within 24 hours. An, an, another thing that I'll always remember about him. You know, this guy had the biggest heart of, of anybody and really, really did care about improving, you know, the human condition, especially for children. That, that was part of his mission. While he was on tour, you know, that. You know, he always wanted to know what he could do in each place so that when he left, he left the place better, having been there, you know? And uh, how many times can you say, how many people can you say that about? Amazing story. And like the other stories told here, it provides a little more insight about Michael as the real person behind the influential icon. Michael Jackson, the man, will definitely be missed, but there's no doubt that his music and memory will live on forever.